Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goeng. In our today's video, we will talk about the multiplying of decimals. So last night, we have uploaded a video wherein we talked about adding and subtracting decimals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is the first example for tonight's video. And let's have this example, 3.9 times 5.9. So basically, there are different ways on how to multiply decimals or there are the different formats. But this time, this is the format that I'm going to give you. First, as you can see, we have 3.9 and 5.9 wherein we have decimal points in the two given decimals. In our format tonight, we will try to ignore, ignore first our decimal points. So what we need to try here is we will try to... See this, 3.9 as a whole number first. So let's try to make it a whole number. We have 39. So as you can see, we're trying to ignore the decimal point. And this 5.9, we will write it as 5, 9, or 59. So what is the reason why you may need to ignore the decimal points? I want you to multiply these numbers as you multiply whole numbers. And later on, we will go back with this given where in, in decimals natin na included na. So let's try it multiplying it one by one. We have 9 times 9, which is equal to 81. So we will put 1 here, then carry 8. Next, 9 times 3 is equal to 27. 27 plus 8 that is equal to 35. So we have here to put 35. Next is 5. 5 times 9, that is equal to 45. So we will put here 5 and then carry 4. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 4, that is equal to 19. So what you need to do here is to add these numbers just like Whole numbers we have 1 5 plus 5 is 10 so 0 carry 1 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 plus 9 that is equal to 13 so we have 3 and carry 1 so what we have here is 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 so now to decide what is our answer we need to count the number of decimal points here in 3.9 we have one decimal place one decimal place here and also in 5.9 we have one decimal place so we need to add them that is 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 meaning we need to move two decimal places here from this point again again eh? from this point so right side move going to left 1 and 2 and right now the final answer is simply 23.01 and this is the final answer for item number one so again what is the reason why we need to move two decimal places from right to left because we have here one decimal place and another one decimal place in total of two decimal places so let's move on with item number two what we have here is this We have 13.75 times 5.5. So again, same process. We will first ignore the decimal points. So we will convert them as whole numbers. This is 1,375 times this 5.5 will become 55. So let's multiply them. We have her here, 5 times 5 is 25, so 5, carry 2, 5 times 7, that is 35, plus 2, that is equal to 37, carry 3. Next, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3, that is 18, so we will put here 8, and carry 1. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1, that is equal to 6. So we are done multiplying this, and let's move here. 5 times 5 is 25, so we will put here 5, 
then carry 2 5 times 7 that is 35 plus 2 that is 37 so this is 7 carry 3 will it so we're just repeating what we have here in the first one 5 times 3 is 15 plus 3 that is 18 so 8 carry 1 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 which is equal to 6 so basically we need to add these numbers bring down 5 5 plus 7 or 7 plus 5 is 2 carry 1 1 plus 8 plus 7 that is equal to 16 carry 1 1 plus 6 is 7 plus 8 that is equal to 15 carry 1 and 1 plus 6 is 7 so to finalize our answer what we need here is to count the number of decimal places here we have 1 and 2 plus another one we have three decimal places to count in okay so from this point going to left 1 2 and 3 so what we have here as our final answer is simply 75.625 and this is our final answer so i hope guys you learned something from this video on how to multiply decimals so if you know something about multiplying decimals feel free to ask or to put down in our comment section so if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads again it's me teacher gone Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!